Hi everyone, this is Space Toad and welcome to this new Germophilia video. So I was initially hoping to be able to make one video every week, maybe one video every two weeks. And as it turns out, things aren't quite the way they uh, were supposed to be. There is a lot of work that actually isn't quite visual enough to justify a video. And there are a couple of experiments that I'm making that, again, don't really make things that are worth showing in any way. So as a result, it's been, uh, I guess, over a month now since last time I posted, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys and show to you some of the progress uh, that can be shown on the development that happened in the past few weeks. So first of all, you can see here that I'm still navigating in sort of the environment, sort of the sandbox, but now I'm doing that from this bacteria here. So this is maybe the first element of gameplay that's implemented. It's a way to explore the sandbox through this one bacteria, which is uh, a very simple version. So eventually there are going to be additional bacteria design. There are going to be uh, other means of transportation. This is just like, rolling around, um, but of course some bacteria will be able to, for example, swim in the environment. Um, I'm still working on the environment uh, as of today. I've uh, let all the internals of the bacteria on the site so far, so there's not much to show in terms of uh, DNA and ribosome and so on and so forth, but that will be coming back very, very soon. Um, and you can see around that the environment works better than uh, in the previous videos. In particular, uh, there has been a lot of optimizations in the way it's rendered and computed. So hopefully that should uh, make it much more um, easy and much more, uh, I mean, the performances should be uh, a lot higher than uh, what they were in previous videos. Anyway, so that's uh, the view that you have right now is kind of a third person viewer, I would say third bacteria view, but there's another one that's available, which is more of a first person, which I can activate if I hit the tab button here. And you can see on the left here, I've got um, something that appeared. Um, this object on the left is actually a sensor of the surrounding molecules. And, and you see, I've just moved from one environment to the other and the molecule changed. Uh, what you see here is just um, sugar molecules at this stage, that's the first one that are implemented. And the idea is that as you go from zone to zone, from environment to environment, the, the resources available, the sugars and other things, are going to be different and you know bacteria would be able to survive in some uh, and not others. Uh, this is something that can be hidden if I don't want to uh, see it. I can just hide it from the interface or I can uh, display it again, bring it back uh, like this. And that's about it on what I wanted to show today. There's again, uh, not that much. What I'm starting to work on right now is a way to uh, use those resources that you see on the environment and uh, maybe transform them into lipids in order to uh, grow the bacteria and uh, make it larger and eventually uh, divide and start a colony. Anyway, Thanks for watching and stay in tune. There is a lot to come.